Hi, I'm Natasha Bazilevich and I would like to share with you several creativity techniques. And today I will share with you the first one and it's called The Secret Door. But first of all, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I have been teaching business English for more than 10 years already and creativity has always been my favorite topic. Every time we start talking about creativity, I try to uh, convince all people, all my students, that they are creative because there are so many people around me that are talented and amazingly creative but they think that they are not and they start arguing with me and saying that no, they are not creative, they are not artists, they don't have that talent, which is not true. You are creative. If you are watching this right now, you are creative. You have a lot of potential and you just have to unleash this creativity. And so let me share with you this one technique today and I will share with you other techniques later. But you can start with just this one and you can use it to generate new ideas for your business, for your life, for your relationships, for whatever you need it for. And so, um, first of all, this creativity technique was inspired by several other techniques in different books by Michael Michalko, Thinker Toys, by Betty Edwards and many, many different uh, sources. Uh, and I cannot say that it's absolutely unique, but I really, really modified several other uh, techniques and created my own. This and maybe several others. So I will share with you my own experience and tell you how I was using it because they work. This one worked for sure. So this one is called uh, a secret door. Imagine that you are standing in the corridor and there are doors on both sides of you. You know like in the movies sometimes the hero is getting into this corridor and there are doors and then there's one in like, straight forward and so they have to choose the door or get into the door and look inside. So imagine that you are in the same place and you're opening those doors one after another and you're looking in. So while you're doing that you really have to to imagine all of that in your head, to visualize all of that and see the details. It's really important for the end goal of all of this. So you open the first door and you look inside and you see something, whatever you are seeing. I can open it and I can see the beach, I can see the seagulls and the um, whatever, the uh, beach chairs and people there. And then I open another door and I can see uh, an office and people there working and then the school and something but I'm walking from one door to another and then finally I get to the door I open it and this is the door that I want to get in I want to come into that room when you are doing this you can choose any door you want it will be the first the second the third the tenth whatever you can walk from one door to another and just first it's like you're warming up and you are letting your imagination work. You, so you start imagining things, start imagining different environments. And finally, when you get into that last door, you come inside and you, again, you start imagining all those details. Like, for example, if I'm thinking about this, my door that I open, and I see this room, and um, it's, it's like an office, kind of like home office, fancy, with the carpet, kind of Persian carpet on the floor, and wooden, really expensive furniture, and then I go deeper inside and I see there is a safe somewhere deep in, like, in the corner of the room, for example. What I haven't told you about is that, first of all, before you even use this technique, it's, uh, it's really practical and very effective when you have a question in mind, when, for example, you have a challenge or you have to make a decision and make a choice. So in your mind you're thinking, should I do this or should I do that? What should I do? What choice should I make? And with that thought in mind, with that question in mind, you start imagining all of this. You start doing this uh, process. So you get into that room, I get into my room with the safe somewhere deep, somewhere far in the corner of the office and I go there, I open that safe 
then I see a little box. I open that box, I see a little note. So then I open the note, it's folded in half. Then when I open it, I see the word written on that note. And I see it in my mind. And that is my answer. So that's what I should do. That's the choice that I should make. And I used it, personally. I had several things in mind that I, I couldn't decide what I need to choose. There was something for my, my own business. And then I saw that word, and that was my solution. So for you, that could be one of the techniques that you can use to make a choice, to make a decision, to find the solution for your problem, for your challenge. And use your imagination. Use this. Visualization is really powerful. I remember that I thought it's just silly and it's one of those words that now everybody's using and they it's like new agey a little bit or like I really didn't like it. I didn't want to even read about it and learn about it, but it is powerful. And it's just the power of our imagination. That's what visualization is. I mean that's just a word. But it's basically our inner power of creativity and imagination. So just just kind of go back to your childhood a little bit and be that child that has the world of imagination inside of their um, brain and their mind. And I'm sure that you can use this for whatever decision you have. And next time I will be back with another technique. So, enjoy!